Welcome to the first week of this course on terrorism and counterterrorism, comparing theory and practice. In the following videos, we're going to look at how terrorism has made headlines in the past decades, the definition problem and the essence of terrorism. Let us first have a look at the facts. We hear about terrorism almost every day and it's a truly global phenomenon, leaving more than 10,000 people dead according to the statistics of the United States State Department. But not all parts of the world are as much troubled by terrorism as others. Let's have a closer look at the exact numbers. Well, you see Afghanistan number one on the list with more than two and a half thousand people killed because of terrorist activities, closely followed by Iraq with about the same number of people dead. Pakistan is very high, Nigeria and even Russia, number five on the list, suffered from more than 650 people killed because of all types of attacks. What about other countries? What about the biggest countries in this world? China, India, the United States, uh, Brazil and the European Union. If we look at the European Union, for instance, we see that Europol, the EU's uh, law enforcement agency, said that in 2012, 17 people died as a result of terrorist activity in the European Union. That's 17 too many, but it's a very low number if we compare that to countries like Pakistan, Afghanistan and Iraq. And the same holds for the United States. According to the statistics of the US State Department, 10 US citizens were killed in terrorist activity, all of them in Afghanistan and none of them on US territory. And India, one of the biggest countries in this world, they face quite a lot of terrorism and have a, a pretty high number of people killed because of terrorism. Sadly, more than 200 of them were killed in terrorist activities. And China, the biggest country, has 15 people killed in terrorist activities in the year 2012. And I'm happy to say that Brazil, the largest country in Latin America, has zero casualties because of terrorism. Let us now have a look at the graph with all the 10 countries that I mentioned. And you immediately see the enormous difference between the top five, Afghanistan, Pakistan, etc., and the United States, Brazil, China, and the EU. These differences are quite big. Well, let's put it on a map. The map of terrorism today shows the differences in the impact of terrorism. Well, the map was made by the Institute for Economics and Peace and it combines the number of incidents, fatalities, injuries and property damage. And it's based on the data of the Global Terrorism Database of Maryland University. What do you see? You see hot, hot spots uh, in South Asia and the Middle East, Russia, northern Africa. But fortunately you also see that many parts of Asia, southern Africa, America and the European Union are not that frequently troubled by terrorism. In many countries, also the ones where terrorism uh, doesn't happen that often, it ranks high on national political agendas. But the same holds for the international agenda. Uh, large organizations like the UN and NATO and other regional organizations have uh, been focusing on terrorism a lot, especially since 9-11. In many countries, terrorism is considered the biggest or one of the biggest threats, influencing relationships between countries and between communities. And some even argue that we live in a post-9-11 world because of its enormous impact on relationships, on our way of thinking about security. Do you agree? Well, it's been 12 years and there are so many other issues that define our age. Think of the economy, the environment, technological innovations and so many other social political issues. A post 9-11 world, I wouldn't call it like that. So what have we learned? Terrorism is a worldwide phenomenon. 
but there are enormous regional differences. And terrorism has a great impact on peace and security. And therefore some believe that we live in a post 9-11 world. In the next video we're going to look at the history of terrorism, the terrorism before 9-11.